What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Oscar Corey, the one who never knows best. And today, I wanted to bring you guys a reaction of the brand new Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay that we got revealed today at the 2023 Summer Games Fest. Now, I'm a little bit late to the party. I mean, it was just today, but uh, I woke up at like 4.30 ish or somewhere around there. The Summer Games Fest was over by the time I rolled out of bed. Okay, look, Street Fighter 6 might have been taking over my life. I might have been doing like 11 hour stream, then like an eight hour stream, like a 10 hour stream. I've been streaming a lot. And obviously I'm constantly working on the grind with YouTube. And then I got the IRL stuff, you know, I got my shorty, you know, I got crib to take care of and errands I'd be running and stuff. And your boy been all over the place, but without further ado, we gonna get into this. I'm gonna see what I missed here at the Summer Games Fest. It's time for some Mortal Kombat 1. So hopefully you guys enjoy and hopefully I enjoy. It's time for Mortal Kombat 1. Yes, it is. It is indeed time for Mortal Kombat 1. Now I see people tripping on Twitter. This one. But I didn't see the gameplay for myself yet. It has yet. been four years since MK11, and ever since Ed Boon and the team at NetherRealm have been hard at work on the most ambitious MK yet that reboots the series into a new era timeline. And it's coming this September. Everyone has been asking, what does it look like? Who's on the roster? How do the new cameo fighters work? Well, now it is time for combat. No spoilers. Let's, this let's, let's get into it. Literally insane. Here the thing is, is too is like extended first look at on. the story, gameplay, and yes, of course, the fatalities of Mortal Kombat One. Let's We're getting this it. game in just a few months too. That's what's crazy. Which means it's probably a beta really soon. I have had enough of you. Then go before I put you down. Fight. Who's? Ooh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Is this me? Or is this just animated a little bit more fluidly and just a little bit less stiff than how NRS games usually are? I could be tripping, but that looks good. I must gather. What do you want? Hey, yo. Sento. Who that? Family blade. Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. Can't, can't, whoa, whoa, whoa. No. Yo, Kenshi is my boy. Well, then the cameo fight. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this. Oh, wait. Nah, son. Son. What? This is a story mode fight. I assume this is a story mode fight, right? <laughs> For real, that at? Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm, god of fire. Who's? Who's? Yo, we got air bomb. Yo, the combo extensions are looking kind of nasty. I'm not gonna lie, son. <laughs> oh, Liu Kang looks nasty. I'm not gonna lie, gang. Experienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. Nah, bro. This. Oh, this might be the. This might be the one. This might be the one. My question is, are cameo fighters, are they only for combo extensions or can they also be used for like block strings and pressure and mix ups and stuff as well? So I'm only really seeing it for like combos, but oh my God, that was sick. God damn. If your disease becomes I don't think known, that's what people mean when they say they want you to blow their back out, but I could be wrong. What's best for you, or do you to lean up? My throne? You look so pretty. Oh, Katana looks sick. For the short while I was playing MK11, I was playing Katana and uh, Liu Kang. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I might like I might like team games more than I like one v one games. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This this might be the <laughs> looks so good. Now I will say, obviously, uh, we're, this is the first time we're seeing actual like in game like gameplay, right? And like the cutscenes and stuff in the story mode gonna look way better. And like that first trailer looked a lot cleaner than this does. But it still looks pretty damn good. Cause like that first trailer, that was looking like like some next level Ghost of Tsushima Sekiro type. But oh my god. Jeez. Jeez. God, Mortal Kombat is brutal. 
that being said though i will say so i was definitely one of those people who were vocal i mean i hope i made a whole video talking about it right but i was definitely one of those people who saw that first trailer and i was like damn i don't know bro it was, it was like the blood and gore kind of getting out of him more combat and again I must state, must reiterate, I understand that blood and gore fatalities, these are all part of Mortal Kombat's identity. It's been in the game since the very beginning. It's like, their, it's their whole thing. I understand that. However, the conversation was basically like, is, is it a little much now with how realistic and high fidelity the graphics are? And just, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like, you know, you know what I'm saying? But that being said, the actual in-game stuff doesn't look quite as hyper-realistic as that trailer did. So it's not really as bad. I think this is something that I personally could still stomach. And obviously the conversation of, you know, is the blood and gore too far? Is it too much? Whatever. It's still going to say, and it's still going to be an ongoing thing with MK, probably for as long as it exists. Um, and obviously there will be people who don't play it because of that. And there'll be people who do play it because of that. And then there'll be people who don't care one way or the, the one way or the other. Uh, but while this stuff does still look pretty brutal and uh, bloody as always, um, it's not quite as unsettling as that first trailer was to me because I was somebody when I, when I watched, like I could, I could stomach that. You know what I'm saying? When I watched that first trailer, I was like, Oh, yo. And like, that wasn't me like overreacting or exaggerating. That was legitimately my reaction. There was some stuff in there, but I was like, I don't really want to see that. It was just a bit much, but I think, I think this was cool. That being said, that was the gameplay section. Um, but I think there's a bit more here. This is like a whole like 10 minute segment. So I'm going to sit here and watch this. And if there's anything else to comment on or talk about or worth noting, then I'll include it in this video. Uh, so give me one second as we start to go through this and then, well, you'll see. Oh, and just like that, there's still more. Goodness gracious. Yeah, the beta is probably in like a month or two. I mean, the game comes out well, in four months. Three, right no, guys? wait, it's June already. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's already June. The game comes out in three months. Yeah, the beta is probably like next month. Now, I'm sure you have many questions about what we just saw. And to tell you more, I am so honored to welcome to Summer Game Fest one of our industry's greatest creators, a man who has been loyal to the same franchise and fan base for more than three decades. Please join me in welcoming to Summer Game Fest the creator of Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon! Ed Boon! OG noob himself. <laughs> they love you. All right. Well, Ed, uh, first of all, thank you for that incredible uh, world premiere. We got to see all the gameplay of MK1. And everyone just wants to know more about this. Because first of all, this is in a, it's, it's MK1, right? It went from 11 to 1. So tell us about this. Is it a new timeline? Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how many people have seen the, the ending of Mortal Kombat 11. Liu Kang basically was kind of graduated into like, you know, a fire god, right? And he's, he created a brand new universe. And this universe, this is why we're calling it Mortal Kombat 1, is because this is the beginning of a new timeline. A number of these characters you've seen before, but they're told in a completely different story. And so... Sub-Zero and Scorpion are brothers now, and there's, there's all these things that were rivalries before are now allies, and so mixing the whole thing up, so we're just kind of rebooting, and that's what the one is for. Well, it looks incredible. Everything we saw there was, you know, in-game, gameplay, the cinematics look incredible. Uh, I know the team has been working for four years on this, but the thing we got to talk about are these cameos because we saw some pretty amazing stuff there. Now, so tell us, how does that work? You obviously, you have your sort of your main, you know, character that you'll pick, and then I know you also have a separate kind of cameo menu, so you pick. Oh, bad! They're actually showing us the menus and stuff. Yeah, normally in, in a fighting game, well, you'll, this looks you'll familiar. Kenshi, my a boy, roster, looks sick. Basically, you know, where you select your character. After you do that, there's a second yeah, roster really of characters, which are a whole new, uh, completely different so, fighters that are the cameo fighters, and these fighters actually. They will join the. What fight, we're seeing is probably actually where we're going to have access like to in the beta. There. Yeah, so it's so, kind of like imagine yourself. Also, hold on. Let me let me run back. I, I was talking a bit over it. I kind of want to hear this explanation of how cameo fighters work and stuff, and whether or not they're like. Let me just... Which are a whole new, uh, completely different so, fighters that are the cameo fighters, and these fighters actually, they will join the fight. But they, a lot but of they, blank squares there. Yeah, so it's so, kind of like imagine yourself with Sub-Zero, but you have some of Jack's moves, and yeah. you can call him out. You can do it multiple times, as you saw in the gameplay, you okay. know. So you can piece, you, you can basically combine these two characters. So all the characters way. can be combined with all the cameo fighters, and that's where you see, that's where the player's kind of imagination comes in, and they can actually customize it for what they like seeing 
uh, you know, the, the best team ups. Well, so how does that work? So you're in gameplay, you have your main, you have your camera. That transition was kind of raw, I'm not going to lie. Base, like how I like how they do the loading screen. That was kind of, right? that yeah, was kind of fi. Exactly. And and you're you're basically summoning them. It's just one button push is basically summoning, but they have a variety. So you can go, you know, push that button with towards and it'll do a, a different move. This looks push clean. Down, this looks really clean. I'm liking it. I'll see, I'll see. I'm over here mad cozy. Oh, I see. So you can bring them in a combo. Almost. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And, and so, and you see, there's like a meter up on top. Uh -huh. Which is basic. That that'll limit it, so you can't obviously fire them indefinitely. But um, you call you can call them pretty much whenever you want, and they have you know like in the middle of a combo, they'll have a lot of um, oh you know basically a whole arsenal of their moves. So Sony you saw come out there. Sometimes you'll see them appear twice in there. So time based, they come out and then. Wait, so the cameos also work through. as your combo breakers. I just some saw. of them there, but are, so is it a different set of characters that'll be in the cameos? Are there some repeats from the main roster? How will that work? Yeah, yeah. Some of the characters are going to be available as cameos as well as the main roster fighters. You can play Sub Zero with Sub Zero, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can play. That's cool though. You can same thing with Scorpion, but a, a lot of our our cameo fighters are kind of like nods back to our uh -huh. first game. So you'll notice Sonya and Kano and Jax are in their kind of older costumes. Which is really and dope. so there's there's a lot of that novelty. We have a lot of like really surprised ones. I think you, you guys saw Goro. Yes, Goro was, was in, in there. there. Yeah, yes, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. So there's a lot of like kind of really digging into the old Mortal Kombat games as far as getting, you know, um, we really love the novelty of it. We really want the cameo characters to feel, uh, you know, kind of nod to the old games. Well, <laughs> well, speaking of uh, not the old games, let's talk. You confirmed, I think, or at least known that Jean Claude Van Damme is actually going to be in this game as Johnny Cage, yeah. right? Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That was, yeah. people don't know the story. I mean, Bloodsport was such an inspiration for Mortal Kombat, so he oh, yeah. finally is now he's yeah, it, part it, of it? It's a huge first uh, full circle moment. You know, the, the first Mortal Kombat game, we originally wanted to be Van Damme, the video game, and that, and that never really worked out. So I, I can't tell you how many times over the last 30 years we've tried to get him, uh, you know, we were this close, yeah. like four or five times. And uh, so finally we got him, and he's doing the voices too. Wow. So you're going to hear John Claude, his voice doing Johnny Cage lines and stuff like that. We're really excited about it. Wow. Well, I know the team has been working so hard in Chicago to build this through COVID, and it's coming out in September, so we don't have to wait long, right? That's right. With this, this has been a very difficult uh, secret to keep yeah. <laughs> over the last over the last four years, and so. Uh, but we're we could not be more excited in terms of uh, getting players' hands on it. Um, and, you know, throughout the summer, we're going to be showing a lot more content, a lot more characters, a lot more cameo characters, you know, so there's a lot of reveals that are coming up. Amazing. Well, Ed, thank you so much for giving us the first look at MK1. As you said, this weekend, people will be playing it, press and media, so we'll be seeing lots more coverage, lots more characters to reveal on the main roster and cameos. All right, for sure. Uh, Ed Boone, I'm looking forward so to it, much. man. First look it looks, it looks like a lot of fun. It looks really cool. <laughs> And I believe that's the end of the segment so for MK. About that one. All right. Yeah. Next up, it's so bet. I mean, that was short enough to where I'll just keep this all as a, the video, and then so that's what you guys saw. So, basically, the the big thing that's confirmed for me is that cameo fighters. It seems like, well, actually, I guess I don't really know for sure yet if there are some cameo fighters who will be cameo exclusive. So it's, he said that you know there will be some characters who are on the main roster than also cameo. But I, it's looking to me like there will be some characters who are in the game as cameos only and not playable. Um. But it is what it is. I'm actually recording this live on my Twitch channel right now, twitch.tv slash the core. And someone in chat, Bumshiko, says like J Stars. And yeah, it's kind of rem reminiscent of J Stars. Even um the Naruto Storm games had a system like that. Cause I remember like in some of the older Storm games, I really liked playing Anko uh in, in the in the game. Or rather, I would use her as an assist. She was an assist only character. And Anko was one of my favorite characters in Naruto. Just I just thought she was really cool, you know, growing up watching the tuning exam, seeing her in the force of death and stuff. I thought Anko was really badass and really pretty. Okay. So I remember when it came out that oh the next storm game is gonna have no assist only characters every character on the roster will be fully playable i got mad hyped so i was like yo i'm about to be a onko main they took her out of the game entirely they took a lot of those characters out of the game entirely granted the roster was large but it was like a lot of those characters who were assist only uh just ended up being cut from the game altogether <laughs> and were just not even there as an assist or okay and i was very sad but regardless, Mortal Kombat 1 looks incredible. It looks super, super hyped. The gameplay actually looked really fun. And the animations looked a little bit better than I would say NRS games typically do. It still looks very NRS, right? But um, it's obviously very distinguished from uh, other games and how their animations work uh, and, and their style. But uh, 
does look pretty good. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting my hands on that beta and then on the full game. And I'm already enjoying Street Fighter 6 a lot more than I thought I would. And then between Street Fighter 6 and Mortal Kombat 1, it's like I got some decent games to hold me over until that Tekken 8 comes out, man. So I'm looking forward to it. And then, like we know, off in the distance someday, we're going to get that project out. So um, it's a great time to be a fighting game fan. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay tuned for all this content I'm bringing you. With all of being said, that's pretty much off today. And remember, nothing can happen to you. Swing the bat. Later.